pit bulls, <laughs> condemned, damned, and demonized. I had the same ideas about pit bulls that everyone else had. When a pit bull mauls somebody, you're going to see that on the 5 o'clock news. If a different breed bites somebody, chances are it won't even be reported. The city's position is that every pit bull poses a risk to the public. Pit bulls are gone. They're banned. Is government control. They're going to round up your dog and kill them. Out of control. I am now registered with the police department as a vicious dog harborer. And I said, she's not vicious. And they said, that doesn't matter. The head is medium length with a broad skull and a very pronounced cheek. These are very subjective determinations. And how do you refute that? They're really not getting trained on vicious behavior. They're getting training on identifying breeds. For them to be confiscating good pets because of an asinine ordinance, it's inhumane. They took family pets who had never done anything other than be a family pet. I think the film is fantastic. I think it really delves in deep into the whole issue. These citizens are fighting back. I served in the first desert storm. If I can fight for my country, then I can fight for my dog. I am not a law-breaking citizen, but she's my family. To protect the ones they love. Kind of have to draw a line in the sand somewhere and fight. In 20 years, no one had challenged a pit bull confiscation. We did, and we won. Bringing a lot of evidence to bear about the lack of scientific basis for these laws. There are a lot of myths associated with pit bulls. One of them is that they have a lock and jaw. It's time to separate fiction. It's just like a stereotype against a person for their race, religion, or creed. From fact. They're very friendly dogs. Irresponsible owners are really the problem here. And find the truth. The answers lie beyond the myth. We need to tackle the right end of the leash, which is the person and not the dog.